We go now to our not so top story of the night. A popular Cuyahoga Falls restaurant is still missing its mascot more than a week after it was brazenly stolen from right outside its doors. Security cameras. Uh, you'd that think, solves, that solves right? it. So here's how we solved it. We put Mike Polk Jr. on the case to see if he could track down what happened to Jimmy's barbecue, backyard barbecues, Mr. Sasquatch, and hopefully try to bring him home. For ages, man has been in pursuit of the Sasquatch, the legendary ape-like creature purported to inhabit the forests of North America. Indeed, many have devoted their lives to the quest. I never believed that I would one day number among them, because frankly, they're total weirdos. And yet today, I find myself joining in the pursuit of the elusive beast. I've already ruled out one location where the Sasquatch can definitely not be found. This charming barbecue restaurant in Cuyahoga Falls, where he was last sighted. He was here for six years. A seven foot tall Bigfoot statue that long stood watch outside of Jimmy's Backyard Barbecue on Graham Road was brazenly snatched last week. He was bolted down with six inch lag bolts. So, I mean, they knew what they were doing. Yeah. They had to have the proper tools. The statue, affectionately known as Mr. Sasquatch, was swiped by heartless Yeti poachers in broad daylight during the wee hours of the morning. Restaurant owner Judy Blair was understandably despondent. Why? Why did you do it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you took something fun out of the community. Why? And the community is still reeling. I didn't even know if I could order food when I pulled in. You know? that important? He's that important here in the community. Well, my hope is the culprits are watching this right now, and they'll have a change of heart and bring Sasquatch back. As far as potential suspects, Ms. Blair says she has no idea who would be motivated to make off with a Bigfoot statue. But as her restaurant is in proximity of both Kent State and Akron U, some have suggested it may be part of a bizarre hazing ritual. You know, the school just started back. Oh, teens. teens! It's always or teens. Or college frat initiation. Right. We know that it's a 2002 to 2005 Ford Explorer, because that's on the footage of the camera. We know it was two men. I examined the scene of the crime for clues. OK, yeah, there's a skid mark. Yep. Yeah, it was a Ford Explorer. Fortunately, though the trail was cold, the barbecue was not. And I had a lot of factors to ponder. Could be anybody. The restaurant is even offering a handsome reward for the safe return of the majestic beast. So you bring this thing back here, <laughs> you get barbecue, you get $1,000. Yeah, and, and a sandwich. I'll give you a pulled pork sandwich. <laughs> You're even going to get a pulled pork sandwich for your effort, you felons. Like so many Bigfoot hunters before me, today I came up short. But the quest continues, and I vow I will not rest until I've either found Mr. Sasquatch or sampled every item on the menu while trying. Come home, Mr. Sasquatch. We're good.